first time I heard about Dropbox, so I knew Drew Houston before he started Dropbox. He was starting this test prep company called Accolade or something like that, some sort of something like that. So this is back in um, Boston in 2006. And Drew was like, he wanted to get an office space. And, you know, we had, we were working on Kiko at the time. And so we like looked at offices together to kind of like go in on an office. But we decided, you know, Em and I were like, our company sucks. It's not really a real company. We don't, we can't really afford an office. Let's not get one. So then when we were out here and we moved out to Silicon Valley to start Justin TV, Drew was like, saw us move out. Some of his other friends, our other mutual friends had moved out to Silicon Valley. He was like, I got to get out there and start a startup. So he came out for the summer and interviewed at YC. He actually crashed at a mutual friend of ours and was like where my, my girlfriend was living at the time and like crashed on their floor to do his YC interview. And he got in as a solo founder, but they were like, you got to find a co-founder. And my co-founder, Kyle, introduced Drew to his eventual co-founder, Arash, and then they partnered up. And obviously, they built Dropbox that summer. It was like a pretty incredible prototype. And then they ended up uh, raising a round from Sequoia. And a couple of our friends, our mutual friends, put in a small amount of money into, into Dropbox. But I just wasn't in the mindset of an investor at the time, so we didn't, you know, I didn't even ask. Even though it's like one of the first users. Obviously, the product was incredible. It grew. They hired amazing people. And uh, now it's like, a, I don't know, it's like a utility of the internet now. It's incredible. One learning from Dropbox, always invest in your friends. Otherwise, the FOMO might literally kill you. The first time I ever used GitHub was when we started using it at Justin TV. And before that, we had used Subversion uh, for the longest time. And I think we switched to Git because we wanted to use GitHub because with you know, GitHub was just like an easier way to like kind of share your source among your, your company. So that was like a long time ago, like 11, 12 years ago, probably whatever, actually it was probably 2008, we first started using GitHub. It's a great product. I never thought it would be that big. Developer tools have been, has been a big industry for a really long time, but just for whatever reason, I didn't pattern match, like GitHub could be like as big as it is today. I mean, my biggest interaction with Robinhood was last year when they stopped trading on Wall Street Bets stocks like AMC and GameStop, like that shit's a scam, bro. Of course they supplied some technical reasons why that was the case, but I don't know. It was sus. That's all I got to say about Robin Hood. Facebook. Yale was like the second college, I want to say, that Facebook went to. So I signed up for Facebook when I was in college in 2004. And as a early Facebook user, I remember it was like kind of like a popularity contest because I was like, oh, how do, how many friends do people have? And like, I didn't have that many friends. I wasn't that popular. I know it. It's very surprising. I wasn't that popular. I didn't have that many friends on Facebook. And so I was like, kind of like pissed off about it. I never really understood that I was like this big startup or whatever. So I signed up when it said on oh, Mark Zuckerberg production at the bottom or Mark Zuckerberg joint or something like that. The social network definitely didn't portray Facebook super accurately. I mean, that was, they kind of just made up their own story, right? It was interesting. The, the, when the social network came out, actually, that was the turning point where it became cool to start a startup. Before that, everyone I knew was like, why are you doing this? This is like, they were all consultants and bankers. And then all the people who were would have become consultants and bankers or were consultants and bankers wanted to start a startup after, after the social network came out. That was like the turning point where Silicon Valley became like a legitimate career move for high achievers. Mm -hmm.